about getting ready for this day since the season ended, you know, mentally, physically, how have you kind of prepped yourself for all this Yeah, it's nice to see you after after the season, man. It was a good quick turnaround after the championship game and then just getting back for the parade, you know, mentally coming down, working out, getting ready for these drills and doing the best I can to stay in shape and get ready to put on a show. What is your stock report on Cornelius? My scouting report? On yourself. I'm on what you're gonna get from me. You're gonna get a winner, you're gonna get a champion, uh, so I'm ready to compete and uh, make a difference. You planning on doing everything in the testing skills tomorrow? Yeah. What makes JJ a good quarterback? It's just his mindset. Um, got a great mindset to compete, you know, always finding ways to win, um, and then combine that with his uh, physical attributes and his talents. Yeah, yeah, national champion and a winner. And we'll, we'll excite to see his career. Where, just as a player and as a teammate, where have you seen that mindset the most? Just on the field in, in those tough moments, you know, we're down or uh, we're trying to get a lead, build on a lead, uh, just on those road games where something might not be going the right way. You can always look to your fellow leaders and uh, just f follow the way. Just build, building on that, the, the combine is often about, I mean, you guys are selling yourself as individuals, right? You're trying to take that next step, but all JJ was saying was about how he's trying to be the team guy, and, and that is that is that very par for the course for him, would you say? It's definitely an interesting question because usually, you know, on the football field, it's like a team sport, so you have other guys around you uh, competing with them and trying to figure out how to build off of them. But then on this case, you come to the NFL Combine, it's more like individual workouts. So it's, it's a different way of looking at it, but it's still sort of the same game. You know, you're still playing your game, um, and you're still relying on what you know best and what we do best, which is playing the game of football. All the big games you played in the championship game, how have those grown your confidence as you get ready to take this next step? I definitely feel like those big games, you know, going throughout the college football playoffs, um, the big rivalry games, the championship games, those have definitely helped grow my confidence throughout my football career. And then going into this next level where everyone's going to be uh, a step up, faster, stronger, bigger, it definitely helps my confidence. Is it intimidating at all being here? Intimidating? I mean, you can say that, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's intimidating. That's more of a lack of confidence type of word. Uh, it's just, it's an honor to be here more so. You know, you look at all the great talent around you and you just try and you know, do what you can. Interesting. I would say that's a good question. You know, coming you say coming from offense and throw the ball a ton. Um, I feel like we still got um, some good reps in and put enough on film to sell myself on tape and just making sure these guys you know really really watch the film, watch all the routes. Even if the ball didn't necessarily go your way, you still put a good route on film. Just like we're about to do here tomorrow at the combine, you know, we're going to be running routes and uh, catching balls here and there. And that's another step, you know, just going back and watching all the film, you know, throughout the whole career, uh, just really diving into that, studying that, and so you can find the best prospects. Do you ever think that, I mean, you know, having you know, things worked out for him, that, I mean, maybe JJ is not even in this situation here, too? I mean, yeah, I mean, that's a crazy hypothetical question. I mean, you could say that, you know, if anything happens, you know, a couple of things switch here and there. Uh, you might not be in the same situation. I, I might not even be in the same situation. You might not be, you know what I'm saying, anything can happen. But in terms, of, in terms of Joe Milton being here, it was nice to see him, you know, just tossing the ball around with him um, throughout the day a couple of days ago, and then maybe tomorrow we'll throw a little bit, you know, here and there. Um, but it's good to see him a, 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 a familiar face and a good friend of mine, you know, to come back at the combine. That's the great thing about the combine; it brings all these guys together. You know what I mean? Some guys you might ne might not have never met uh, uh, from different schools, even some rivals. You know, you might play against, um, all coming back, and then who knows? Maybe at the next level you'd be teammates. So it's just funny to see how that all works out from high school on to college, and then college to the next level here too. Talk to the Ohio State guys. Nah, <laughs> still stay away from them. But you now, like I said, eventually, you know, I'll, I'll talk to. It's not like I'm avoiding nobody, but Ohio State, Penn State, Michigan State, some former Alabama guys we played against in the in the Rose Bowl, Washington guys, training with them. Um, it's just natural, you know. It's just like 
you have rivals on the field, but now as we go on to the next level, you can end up being teammates and making great friends with them and talking about those games, talking about those rivalries, ends up playing off. Who are the toughest quarterbacks you faced in the Big Ten? Yeah, that's another good question. Some of the toughest corners and DBs I've faced in the Big Ten, uh, just even my whole career, uh, there's been a lot of guys. Uh, specifically in the Big Ten, remember last year we faced, we uh, went against the first round pick, Joey Porter. Uh, years before that, we went against, um, remember that Washington game, we went against McDuffie, just won the championship with the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, this past year, we've gone against uh, Kool-Aid and Terion in the Rose Bowl. A lot of good uh, competition we faced at Michigan and put, put some stuff on film to you know be able to match up with those guys. How is playing in the Big Ten, the weather, everything you have to battle, going to prepare you and you think help you in the next level? That's another good point. You know, just talking about the weather and the uh, Big Ten environments, I feel like that does correlate to the next level because there are going to be a lot of games where it can be against the elements. You know, who knows, you might end up playing some up north team, you know, a lot of teams, those cold environments, especially the NFL season goes all the way past till December, damn near January, compared to just late November in college. So that definitely is going to be something that uh, you, know, you can be used to going into the next level. It can help you late in the season. Did you go with Tampa Bay this week? Yes. Uh, was that formal or informal, and how did that go? It was informal. Um, we met with Tampa Bay, talked uh, it, it was an informal interview, just went over some questions, just getting to know me and my family. What about the Giants? Met with the Giants too. Uh, we met with a lot of teams, also especially from coming from the All-Star East-West game. Um, I was able to you know, re-meet with some teams, and that, that was helpful for me to kind of see some faces again. And uh, the one with the Giants went well too. We talked about some plays, drops some plays, and just getting to know each other. What makes Roman Wilson uh, a good prospect? Same thing, like I said, with JJ, his mindset and his, and his physical traits. Um, I feel like uh, Roman's got a, a really strong work ethic. And you're always going to catch Roman. You know, he's never going to deny some extra work, uh, try and get some extra hands drills, some footwork, speed drills. Uh, just his relentless uh, hard work and just once he gets on the football field, just does it in games. As JJ's draft stock is kind of rising, what do you think people should know about him that maybe isn't out there? I feel like it's all going to be on film. That's really all you, all you can know, um, what, what's on film. And then eventually, as you get to talk to him, uh, you're just going to get to know his, his personal traits even better. So if you don't know about him, I just I just talk to him, have a conversation, spend some time with him, um, and then you, that'll help his draft stock as well. What's your favorite conversation you've had with him? Uh, there's been so many you know, throughout the years, uh, just on the road, traveling. We have some so many like team trips, away games, just being on the bus, just having that time with the teammates back at Michigan and coming on to the future. It's just been a real great experience. Good having him as a teammate. The offensive skill guys that are here from Michigan, is there a common trait or characteristic you guys all kind of share? Ooh. A common trait. Group yeah, just from the Michigan guys, you said. Yeah, the four, the four offensive skill guys that are here. Yeah, so yeah. Um, we just got that uh, that Schembechler Hall chemistry, you know? just. Once we get to the pro day, we're going to be able to you know, tune that up even more. It's going to be really fun to get back to Shenbeth Hall for the pro day and just see all the guys back in that one spot and have that same chemistry we had every single day coming out to practice at Shenbeth Hall in Ann Arbor. So now we're just in a different spot, which, we, which we, we've done the whole season. So it's definitely some chemistry we have there. I'm trying to keep that going throughout Indy. Who was your mindset going into that Shrine Bowl performance? I felt like he was a big bully out there on the field with those DBs. The mindset, it's the same one, you know, every time. Coming in here, too. Uh, just coming in, trying to prove something, always. And uh, just doing what we do and just relying on the practice. That's really what I, I'm focusing on, relying on the practice reps I've done and just trying to get the most out of the experience. If you had to compare your game to somebody, who would it be? And why is it Amon Ross St. Brown? <laughs> he said, why is it Amon Ross St. Brown? I guess... You must be Lions fan, I guess. <laughs> nah, just a national Detroit football fan. fan. Natural football fan, okay. Yeah, I, I, I definitely like uh, Amara Ross St. Brown's game and respect his game, too. Um, being from uh, that Detroit Lions team, played in Southern California. I followed him even back to modern day when he came out. Um, definitely respect his game and uh, excited to even study his film even more with his work in the slot and outside. He can do a lot on the football field. I don't, I don't think there's anything he can't do. 
and that's something I strive to do as well. Speaking of that, that Shen Becker Hall chemistry, so many coaches with ties to Michigan in the league right now. How do you, how do you think that can help you guys having people in, in these draft mm -hmm. rooms that, that really know you? Yeah, that was awesome. I mean, yesterday even I was walking into the Weston Hotel to get my work in with uh, XP. I've been training with them a little bit down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And uh, I was laid a little spot over at the Weston Hotel. And as, as soon as I walked into the lobby, I bumped into Coach Harbaugh. And I was like, super, it's funny to see him. I wanted to give him a little fist bump, but he, he gave me a big hug. And I was like, okay, that's, that's pretty funny. It was nice to see him. He was with his son there, just able to catch up for a little bit and see him. It was in a, in a Chargers polo, which was different than the Block M, his typical outfit. But it was nice to see him. And then he, he's probably seen a bunch of the other guys having that same chemistry is uh, something really beautiful to see is coming off that championship some will never forget can't take away from us so many offensive guys from Michigan here today who do you who do you see as the future of the Michigan offense Ooh, that's a great question you know coming into that first game and throughout zero. the whole season it's gonna be interesting to see who steps up and really makes a name for themselves coming in from that championship team where uh, a lot of guys left you said well 18 guys are here at the combine that's almost a full starting unit on offense and defense. So seeing who steps up is going to be really interesting. Um, a lot of the guys in the wide receiver room, I'm looking forward to. Some of the guys I've worked with, uh, Morris, uh, Morgan, O'Leary, those guys. Uh, and then we'll see you know, the quarterbacks, running backs. Uh, excited to see them in the pro day and just catch up with those guys once I get back to campus. Last question, guys. What have you been uh, trying to show teams about your personality in the interviews? And then what do you hope to show when you uh, get to the workouts on the field? Guys, I see the Equity Sports shirt. Uh, I rock with them, too. Um, I'm trying to uh, show, show them just my consistency and my route, and my route running details. Um, and then just being able to make plays deep and uh, have good footwork in the short game, too. That's it, guys.